I don't know if this is going to get through to anyone. If it does, it's probably because they want it to. In which case, I'm sorry. Maybe they just don't care. Maybe it doesn't matter because there's nothing we can do. If you're anything like me, you've seen some weird shit around town. And more importantly, you realized it. And you've remembered it while everyone else has just gone around their day in ignorant bliss. I don't know how far it goes. But so far, no one's shown the capability of register what I'm saying. I could spam it up and spam it down the internet. And I don't even get one relevant response. Nothing. I've considered that I might just be crazy. But even crazy people can get some sort of reaction. Some people even at least try to humor them. Calm them down. I've tried to call doctors, police, professors. They all just stare off in space when I describe them this shit. Like, something's actively trying to block the exchange of information. My biggest fear isn't that I'm even alone. My biggest fear is that I, I might still be only perceiving bits and pieces of something bigger. Or worse, that my capability to perceive it, it all is shrinking. I can write it down. I can record every last detail. But it's not going to matter if I become like everyone else. I could wake up tomorrow and look at my journal and only see a pile of mysterious cake recipes. Who the hell knows? The first thing I ever saw was one of those pickup windows. It was just like any other that you might see at a fast food restaurant. It was on the right side of my own goddamn house. Nothing was amiss inside, but on the outside, half the block was lined up to my front lawn. Reading over a glowing menu of fully scribbly looking gibberish and receiving their meals, if you want to call it that. And almost instantaneously, they all acted like it was the usual mundane lunch stop. Even while a male lady sucked down some rancid looking gloop out of a plastic pouch. Congealed blood dripping down her chin. She told me it was the best she ever had. All my questions were met with those blank looks and stupid smiles. I couldn't even tell who or what was handing out the food. Or where it was coming from. I could only see blackness. At least, that's how I remember it. Maybe I saw something else, but it's gone now. Oh God, that was only the beginning. All the restaurants in towns, the real ones, are typically deserted. Employees still show up to some of them, but they don't even realize there's no customers stopping in. Some even have new host windows, parasitically siphoning off from the business. These things are multiplying consistently. I've seen them indoors, outdoors, on houses, on trucks, even one on a tree. A window out of nowhere on the trunk of a fucking tree that spins a deep fried slop to an ignorant gaggle of hikers. It isn't just the windows either. I've been starting to see this shit on supermarket shelves foreign looking packages with the same gibberish language on it. Even occasional bouts of quasi-like English. Like, one in a million tastes, or it can dream great flavor. It all has a stupid looking logo on it, too. Sometimes it burnt right into the cuts of meat. A bug-eyed, cartoon hamburger in a little chef's hat. Sometimes it's winking, 
Sometimes it isn't. Sometimes it's only after I looked away. You're seeing people sucking down the shit on live television. Talking heads coming back from commercial, licking the blood and grease off their hands. The weather lady showed up looking like some extra from a slasher movie. Red stains increasingly thick on her blouse. I don't think she's changed in the weeks. Nobody cares. Nobody thinks anything's odd or new or different. Nobody but me. My appetite for meat is thoroughly dead, to say the least. I don't think I could ever trust it again. I've noticed non-meat products have grown steadily rarer. Fruits and vegetables are no longer sitting between restocks. A lot of things are just getting phased out to make room for new items. I shouldn't have to say this, but if you could read or comprehend this so far. But for the love of God, don't eat it. Don't taste it. Don't touch it. Don't even try to smell it. The more people eat, the less they act like themselves. The funnier they talk. If you know something's up, you can't see what I'm seeing. I advise you to stick cereal. I haven't found anything fishy about any cereal yet. I can't even begin to postulate what's behind this. Aliens? Terrorists? Illuminati reptiloids? I could believe damn near anything at this point.